In today's lesson, you're going to learn how to say that you have lost something and also how to say that you have missed something. So let's look at our first grid. First column, he perdido, he perdido. He perdido means I have lost. The he, H-E, is I have. So he perdido, I have lost. And perdi is I lost. So without the I have, just I lost. And we would say I have lost, as in something that's just happened. And I lost, as perdi, could be yesterday, I lost it. So he perdido, I have lost, and perdi, I lost. And let's see the things that you have lost. So mi cartera, mi cartera is my wallet, mi cartera, my wallet, mi dinero, mi dinero, my money, mi pasaporte, my passport, mi pasaporte, mi bolso, now bolsa ending in A is just bag in general, and bolso, masculine, ending in O, ironically masculine because bolso means handbag, handbag, bolso. Mis llaves, mis llaves, and llaves, keys, and you can see that to make it plural you also have to make the my plural, mis llaves. And then mis cosas, finally, mis cosas are my things. Mis cosas. Okay, let's practice this. At first, look at the grid to get the, the right words. But as you become more confident, then you can try looking away from it to test your memory. Okay, how would you say, I have lost my passport? He perdido mi pasaporte. He perdido mi pasaporte. And I'll leave a, a gap, a pause, between the question and the answer. But if you need more time, or if you think you're going to need more time, then just use the pause button on the video. How would you say, I lost my money? Perdí mi dinero. Perdí mi dinero. How about, I've lost my money. He perdido mi dinero. He perdido mi dinero. I've lost my things. I've lost my things. He perdido mis cosas. He perdido mis cosas. And just try saying it now as fast as you can. He perdido mis cosas. He perdido mis cosas. He perdido mis cosas. Just helps sometimes to, to practice speeding up. How would you say, I lost my handbag. I lost my handbag. Perdí mi bolso. Perdí mi bolso. How about, I've lost my wallet. I've lost my wallet. He perdido mi cartera. He perdido mi cartera. And remember, you can do a, a screenshot of the, of the grid and print it off, and then it's quite a useful revision tool. Okay, last one then. How would you say, I lost my things? I lost my things. Perdí mis cosas. Perdí mis cosas. So, we've just looked at I have lost and I lost. 
And now we're going to learn how to say I missed, as in I missed an event. I missed the party, or I missed the meeting, or I missed my favourite programme, whatever it might be. I missed. Now if you want to say to miss an, an event like this, we use the same verbs that we've just looked at. In Spanish they say I lost it. I lost it. So we still use he perdido and perdí. But crucially there's one change. We have to add me. So now because the meaning has changed slightly we use what's called a reflexive verb. You don't need to understand that but it just means that in Spanish literally if you translate it it's I lost myself this particular thing and it's meaningless if you translate it like that into English but that's how it works in Spanish. So let's have a look at our grid because that'll be the easiest way of explaining this. So before it was he perdido and perdí for I have lost and I lost and to say I have missed something, I've missed an event, then we add in the me. Me he perdido. I have missed. Me perdí. I missed. Not I have missed, but just I missed. Me perdí. And as I just mentioned, it's not necessary to understand exactly how this grammar works or rather why it works, but rather just how to use it. So we've got me he perdido and saying it a bit quicker it would be me he perdido and me perdí. So I have missed and I missed and then we have mi programa favorito, mi programa favorito. Just interestingly to note favorito usually if favorito came after a feminine word it would be favorita and you look at programa and you think oh that ends in an a it must be a feminine word programa is one of the exceptions that ends in an a but is still masculine so it's un programa or el programa it's masculine so mi programa favorito, my favorite program. La reunión is the meeting. It looks a bit like a reunion, but it's the meeting. La reunión. La fiesta, the party. And el partido, the match, like football match, tennis match. El partido. Okay, so let's practice. And again, use the the grid on the screen to help you at first and then gradually try to test yourself by looking away. How would you say, I've missed the party, I've missed the party. Me he perdido la fiesta. Me he perdido la fiesta. How about, I missed the match, I missed the match. Me perdí el partido. Me perdí el partido. How about I missed my favorite program. Me perdí mi programa favorito. Me perdí mi programa favorito. How about I've missed the meeting. I've missed the meeting. Me he perdido la reunión. Me he perdido la reunión. And remember that the question, have I missed the meeting, would be exactly the same. I've missed the meeting and have I missed the meeting is the same, just the intonation changes. So it'd be, me he perdido la reunión. Me he perdido la reunión. Have I missed the meeting? How about I have missed my favorite program. Me he perdido mi programa favorito. 
Okay, let's try looking away and see what you can remember. How would you say, I missed the match, I missed the match. Me perdí el partido, me perdí el partido. How about, I missed the meeting. Me perdí la reunión. Me perdí la reunión. How about, I've missed the party. Me he perdido la fiesta. Me he perdido la fiesta. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Don't forget to subscribe and visit our site, prospanish.co.uk. Just for the next few days, the fluency program is going to be included in our special offer package.